How's it going guys? Welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to be doing a 10k super team. This is the second squad builder I've done on my channel. The first one was the 4141 100k team. This time around, I'm doing a 41212 second variation 10k super team. I've used this team a few times now, and I think it's really good. This formation is really strong. Let's get into it. So starting off in goal, I've got Barcelona's goalkeeper Silicon. He's a bit small, but he's been doing really, really well for me, making some brilliant saves. In at right back, I've got a very, very sweaty choice, who I didn't even know was a choice, but I picked him up now and he's doing really, really well. Six foot, with stats like that, is brilliant, really sweaty. Next to him in centre-back, I've got Van Beek. Probably the better of the two centre-backs in the team, just because of his low, high work rates, which has done really well for me. He's managed to score one goal in his seven games as well, and he's really, really good. Next to him as a great partner is Veltman. Veltman is a really, really good partner for Van Beek. Van Beek is sort of... He's, he feels really big and strong. I don't know what his strength actually is in-game, but... He feels really strong, whereas Veltman is a more controlled sort of centre-back. He plays the ball out from the back very well. His distribution from the back is brilliant. In at left-back, I've got Willems. Willems is always good on FIFA. Obviously, having four-star skills this year, he's strong as well. Sometimes a little bit suspect in the air, but he is doing really well. In CDM... I've got Goudelge. Now, Goudelge has a brilliant card. His stats are very, very well-rounded. Apart from his dribbling and pace, everything is over 70. Really, really physical as well. He's a very solid, solid CDM for me. He sits in CDM and just gets the job done. Over in right centre mid, I've got a player that comes out of packs as a cam. Lucky I had the cam to centre mid position change already in my club. And that's Klaassen. Now, Klaassen has played seven. He's got one goal and five assists for me. He's done really, really well in that right centre mid position. If you don't want to spend the coins to get the position modifier for him, just play him at right centre mid as a cam, and he'll still get the fine chemistry. Moving over to the left-hand side, I've got a first owner player here, and that's Guajardo. Even though he's first owner, he's still only worth a K, and I have added that K to the price of this team. He's played seven, scored one, five assists, which I think is the same. Yeah, the same as Klaassen. They're both brilliant. Quadrado is more like an engine. He's up and down. He plays like a left winger slash left back. She does a really good job for me again. In at Cam, I've got one of my favourite players in the team. And that's Ziek. Ziek in seven games, has only scored one goal and only got four assists. But his link-up play in the team and the way he... In possession of the ball, he feels so good. He's always in the right place. Picks the ball up and plays it off really nicely with a brilliant first touch. Great passing. And he's a great choice in that Cam position. Up at my left striker, I've got Chelsea Loney, Bertrand Traore. Now, Traore is so, so good. With them sort of, them stats, that pace, the passing, the shooting, the dribbling, and the physical all being brilliant. 5 foot 11 as well with 4 star skill moves. His work rates are a little bit questionable, but with the instruction out on him, he done really well. Played 7 games, scored 9 goals, which is brilliant, and got an assist as well. Now, moving over to my other striker, surprisingly, the most expensive player in my team. I'm not really sure why. But he cost me 2,000 coins, and that's Luke De Jong. His four-star weak foot is brilliant. A lot of the times that I've got through, I'd say three or four of them seven goals for me with his left foot. He's climbed up, scored a header for me as well. He's got two assists. Um, he is 2,000 coins for a, for a non-rare, which seems quite pricey, but honestly, he is a very, very good player. So that's the team. As far as instructions go, I've got my left back and right back, both on stay back while attacking, as well as my CDM. I've got Traore on as getting behind, and everybody else has stayed as the same. Custom tactics, I've got, I changed my defender line from offside trap to cover. Um, something that I'm going to be doing a lot this FIFA is it really is helpful. Your defenders don't just randomly step up. Keeps a really solid back line. I hope you enjoy the gameplay. Leave a like if you enjoy. Subscribe for more of this sort of content on my channel. See you in the next one.
this spot and we're all ready to go. So this is how the hosts line up today. Jasper Sillerson plays in goal. In attack, Luke de Jong plays with Bertrand Traore. There's some potential in this move. It's nicely worked until that point when it broke down. And now they've got to try and regain possession. That's cut out. challenge I think it's the appropriate punishment well, he's disappointed in himself but uh, it's a definite red and he'll be feeling even worse if they convert this free kick players in the wall jumping to get to that free kick it's a bit risky Hunter it's a promising attack this with Hunter on the ball good strong tackle well this is how this team can play sustained attacking football but when they lose it as they've done now it's just a risk that they might get caught out he's gone in strongly and got the ball moving forward with some danger to the opposition now they're here open game but maybe these two guys might have an influence on it if they're absolutely on top of their game yeah these are the kind of players that you pay the big bucks to because they're match winners they're game changers so interesting to see if that happens here well they're building steadily here working away well that looked promising but he's been stopped Luke de Jong Bertrand Traore the attacking third. Traore. And the goalkeeper got a touch to that. Fine save. And here's the cross. Brilliant technique in the tackle. Looking good this move. be a goal kick Davy Clarsen they've got the ball in the middle of the pitch here well they're in a good position here and in strongly confident Quality on the ball. And it's a shot now. Take the chance with the shot there. Yeah, thought he might have done better there. Had a bit of time and space. Good position. Trying to switch on the attacking power in this situation. Challenge here. Traore. Could be dangerous. Shot off. Corner to come because of the tackle that sent the ball behind. And he's met it with his head. Well, you've got to compliment him for trying, but that's well off target. in with a tackle Davy Clarsen with good progress with this attack and now the shot credit for taking on the shot but well, what a good chance that was for him by his standards that's a glaring miss Traore quick tempo to the passing the opposition can't get near them Trying to find a way through here, probing away. Hunter. 
started the challenge well. That's a turnover in play. Attacking now. That's Billy Queta. David Klaassen. Very good passing from this team. Just working away to try and find an opening. And they've cut it out. He's coming forward with some danger. Free kick given. Bertrand Traore, little piece of interplay between the two. Here's De Jong. Excellent passing, great interplay. Well, this attack has got a bit of menace to it. trying to use the full width of the pitch here to make some progress. Luke de Jong. The first official has Ball has gone up to indicate three, three added minutes. Three minutes of time. In quickly. Well, they've been uh, thwarted here. That's a sign of better things to come. Good reading of the play, anticipating the pass. On to the attack now the way to win the ball back so it's half time referee just checking everything is in order and he blows for the second half to start here's a chance to attack good challenge that's cut out Working hard just to see maybe a sight of goal. And now he's looking for some support. That could open them up. On the attack here. And in he goes with the tackle. Advantage play. We love to see it typified the competitive nature of this game that tackle it's only a throw in Sanya stopped emphatically and just as well the approach play looks very encouraging now they've got a chance in this part of the pitch Guadada. great passage of passing play there Traore picked off that pass and now he's got the ball and a chance to create something good forward play from them Luke de Jong he's really strutting his stuff now and they've got it away from the danger Guadada. Through pass. The shot's off. And he's up for the header. That's a breakthrough. It's been a very good start to this game. And they've got the goal that really their football has suggested would come.
message would leave them regretting those misses. And now they've hoped the scoring. And you would feel that they'll go on and win from here. Well, all day, we've reached the hour mark. Half an hour to go. Moving forward with some danger to the opposition. Now they're here. It could be a chance. Well, he scores. And it's a big moment for them in the match. They've pushed their lead now to two ahead. They played well to this point, but sometimes a two-goal lead can be a dangerous one. We'll see. They are on a roll. Two superb goals in quick succession. And the way they're playing here, you'd certainly fancy them to get another couple. Well, he has been a rock at the back for them with that sort of tackling. Comes in with a tackle. Ericsson. Too early, offside. Just failed to look across the line. Here's a chance to move forward from midfield after that interception. Andres Guadado. Supporting player alongside. Nothing wrong with that tackle. In fact, it was a terrific effort. Good position. They've worked this attack very well into a quite a dangerous position now tries to punch it away it was nicely worked until that point and it broke down and now they've got to try and regain possession he's known as a fine passer of a football and he's right on his game today Guadara and he kept it out it will be a corner chooses to punch you the goalkeeper good technique keeps it going coming in strongly how about that Alan? oh lovely to watch it's pressed and won the ball well forward saw the goal and went for it well that's punishment isn't it they've had their disciplinary issues in this game short-handed they were short at the back then well we thought this would be how the match would play out and uh, they certainly have made their advantage count it's given them a comfortable situation here 3-0 as the game gets underway just over a quarter of an hour left on my watch they've got the ball back by that interception Not completed, really. Here's a challenge. Good one. On to the attack now. This is how they love to play on the break. Well, he's shut off now. The team is lining up for the corner. And he's in there with a the header. Could be in. Look at the space he's got. The shot's off. And the goalkeeper plunged to make the save. Getting set at the corner. And now the shot. Well, he's had a go. Well, if you don't buy a ticket, as they say, and uh, fair play to him for having a crack. Good progress with this attack. Lost his marker cleverly. Good strong tackle. That attack was looking good. Now the opposition have a chance. Oh, he spotted the pass and cut it out. Trying to thread it through here. Oh, it's a poor cross. Not well hit at all. Dealt with by the defending side. Cut out. The referee has indicated there will be a good chunk of added time here. Three minutes. Well, they're in a good position here. He was pointed for the free kick. Sliding in and uh, taking his part in the game.
game into a, a dangerous territory, really. Well, it was badly timed. He didn't get the ball, and he knows he's committed a foul there. 